breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Kano governorship election. She will sign a predict winner as tribunal delivers judgment. We know that uh, Kano, in Kano State, there's a lot going on. The matter is really sparking up a lot of reaction. The governorship um, election that was done and everything with regards to, um, you know, of course, just like the presidential election, the candidate of the NNPP is being challenged that he did not win. The APC candidate is challenging him. And so the streets are unceremoniously unceremonious, quiet, as silent as a mouse. As uh, the judges feel it would be best for them to deliver judgment via Zoom. And so they are not in court. It's happening through Zoom. So this is what is happening right about now as we speak. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe as we get all the details. Shea Usani, a former federal lawmaker, has predicted the outcome of the Kano State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal. The tribunal is set to deliver its judgment on the petition filed by the All Progressive Congress APC. APC and its candidate, Nasum Garuwanan, are contesting the victory of Governor Abe Yusuf from the new Nigerian People's Party in the election that took place on March 18th. According to the Independent National Electoral Commission, the NNPP secured a total of 1.019602 votes, triumphing over APC and its candidate, Nusa Garunan, who had a total score of 890-700 votes, the result in a winning margin of 126-897 votes in favor of NNPP candidates. This is being contested by the APC candidate. Displaced the, APC, the displaced APC candidate has filed a petition at the tribunal to challenge the results declared by the electoral body. This has continued to spark up a lot of reaction as there is unusual silence in Kano State as we speak, with everyone wondering what next. Shea Usani, a former lawmaker, is wearing in and giving his own opinion on what could possibly have happened. He says, in his post he read, Shea Usani says, the member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, predicted toss. The senator appeared to be making reference to two football clubs in the English Premier, saying Chelsea, this is between Chelsea and uh, Liverpool. Why Liverpool? FC color is red. Chelsea traditional color is blue. In Kano, the NNPP is headed by Senator Rabio Musa Kwankoso, who, whose movement is known for the traditional cap red. She is saying Kwankoso is red and APC is blue. It is now it, it's now hashtag Liverpool versus Chelsea. Chelsea in is uh, Chelsea right now is the worst is in the worst form of their life, so they will lose. The red cap, this man, your sense of humor is beyond level. So this is what is happening. He used uh, like a joke between football clubs to predict what could possibly be going on and what will happen. Whether you like it or not, there are serious concerns with regards to, you know, with regards to uh, all that is going on and everybody is wor worried and asking themselves, very serious questions on how these things can be okay uh, so this is what is happening now okay and uh, we are we are all waiting patiently to see how things will go as nigerians begin to wait expectantly to see what will go on every single one of us knows that it cannot be business as usual as the st streets and uh, you know all the places in kano state are ceremoniously quiet and really really you know everywhere one is just wondering what next you know what, who, what will happen what will carry the day you know our brother ganduji really wants this and he's now the apc chairman tinubu made him the apc chairman so there's a lot involved and everybody's trying to understand what next so the matter today is a serious one people are trying to understand this rabbi musa kwankoso uh, this is the party that this is the 
uh, only state his party has for now. Um, he came fourth in the presidential election. Uh, Ganduje was displaced. He wanted his candidate, you know, to win. But, I mean, it is what it is. And today, the matter is a different one altogether. And every single person is, is waiting patiently to see what the next line of action will be. Well, Nigerians, this is what it is. Uh, Kano states, you know, the silence is, is like the silence of silence. You know, everywhere, silent night, exactly. And that season where they go. So, so this is what is happening right now. Everybody's waiting patiently to hear the verdict. Meanwhile, the court session is going on via Zoom. Uh, they just decided, I know what, there's no need to come to court so that a uh, fight no good day, may peace for day. They just decided to do one through Zoom so that uh, nobody go fight. May nobody call through stone. Everybody the inside has just log on. Make sure you have good internet connection and we'll be fine. So that's what's happening. The APC candidate right now is fighting Titane. Said he must become, he must, he must uh, become the governor, and we are waiting. Rabbi Musa Kwankoso con candidate, you know, has been the governor and has, uh, and has been and has been demolishing all, if not all, almost all Ganduje's, uh, uh, you know, uh, things in the state, saying, you know, this guy know what time. So now there we do. We will bring you up to speed. As the matter unfolds, don't forget that you have a voice and we must continue to do what is right and needed to change the course of history so that together Nigeria can become a better place. So this is what is happening right now. And um, every single one of us needs to understand it. So at the end of the day, we can change the course of history and make Nigeria a better place. So Naso Ibiu, in no past like that, so we want this country, we want things to work out um, so that people can you know, have the opportunity to live the, the life that they want without fear or favor. So if you look at it, we just have to ensure that we keep, you know, the, 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 the ambience of who we are without allowing those who want to, you know, come in and cause all kinds of, you know, hindrance to destroy the nation for their own personal gain. They must not succeed. So this is what is going on. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, every one of us have got a part in this, not to be quiet, and that is why we must speak out. Okay, that's why we must speak out and ensure that the truth, you know, is revealed. There is heavy security presence as the verdict is being delivered in Kano State. The whole place is silent and quiet, and uh, we are waiting patiently to see what will go on next. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Bye for now.